And today we have a very cool unboxing to go over. Ooh. I actually got this a couple weeks ago, but I'm really excited about it. It it's is a big box. this giant collector's edition of Uncharted 4. Ah. For the PS4. For the PS4. So this is the giant huge box because you know if anybody has seen a collector's edition before they're always usually this massive they're at least this big if not bigger for every collector's edition for a game i've ever seen i feel like the witcher is still like the biggest one that ever was the witcher <laughs> was like two no newborn children into <laughs> one box okay? okay like it was massive it was huge but this box is pretty cool it has like henry avery sigil on the front for the game which has a lot to do with the pirate theme of the game if you don't know and on the back, it kind of just has what's in it, and we're going to go over each piece individually. It has the steelbook case for the game, um, a statue of Nathan Drake himself. There's a lot of fancy stuff in this. And a little art book. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> ha! Okay. So here we have the metal case that came with the collector's edition. As you can see, it's got the like, exclusive art of all the characters in the game on the front. It's really nice, and I mean, it's obviously very sturdy and metal. This is the back side. More exclusive art, how fancy. And open it up, there's the actual game itself. And if you look over on this side, of course it comes with some nifty little things. Let me just fish those out of there. I'm dropping everything in the process. It comes with stickers, which has like different um, pirate sigils from the game, the different pirate like gangs, I guess, or groups that you get to deal with. And they're really nice stickers too. They're very good quality. They're really shiny. They have like awesome pictures on them. Who wouldn't want pirate stickers all over the place? Uh, this is just, you know, special codes to unlock different things in the game. And then we have Naughty Dog stickers because that's the studio behind Uncharted. Very nice as usual. And that's kind of it for the case, but there's the art. Woo! There's Nathan up there being cool. And there's all the people that, you know, are like, hey, we should fight Nathan. It's like, hey, you should not. All right, now we have the art of Uncharted, A Thief's End. As you can see, Nathan's on the front looking distressed because that's kind of a normal look for him if you've played the games. This is the back cover. Nothing really, just, you know, that's the back of it. It's got a really nice, like, kind of velvety matte finish to it. It's very, very, like, I don't know. I just like the texture of that. And you open it up. And it's got a pretty picture. And I don't want to show all of the art in case someone hasn't played it and gets spoilers, you know. But it's got different um, pictures of the characters at different stages of life. And oh my god, look at them. Look how cute they are. They're adorable. And, you know, it's got a lot of different like concept art pieces. And a lot of really great stills and like, um, I would dare say, uh, what's the word they're trying to think of? Like storyboard art almost. Wait, where it's stuff that you will encounter in the game. And there's really, it's just really great to see stuff like this because it's kind of going behind the scenes. There's Elena being her precious self. And Sully and Nate. And yeah, there's all kinds of goodies in here and lots of great different characters and concept art. And I personally am someone that like really enjoys concept art, so seeing things like this is always really, really nice. And yeah, that, I don't want to show too much more, because that will give away a lot of the story. And I know this game is still relatively new, so I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But there's the cover again. And that's the art book that comes with the special edition. have the Nathan Drake statue that came with the um, collector's edition and he is actually impressively tall I'm actually surprised by how big he is but I guess this is my first collector's edition so I'm not used used to how massive these things are but I'm amazed like here's my hand in comparison it's pretty big but I think this statue overall is absolutely amazing like I really appreciate the likeness of Nathan Drake in this game in Uncharted 4, if you don't know, he's a bit older and kind of rougher looking, so he's got kind of got the 
world worry look on his face, some wrinkles around his like nose and mouth, like he's seen some crap. <laughs> But I really like how dirty and scuffed up he is, like, you know, when he wears his outfit in this part of the game, he's going through some crap. So, but I just like this little detail in the pose, he looks like he's ready to go shoot someone in the face and continues adventuring. He's got his beautiful little silver paint on his wedding ring and nice details on his watch, like it even has like the minute hands and hour hands. Um, I really also appreciate just the, the dirt and the mud and the grime and the blood. Like, he, he really does look like he's been trekking through the forest. And speaking of that, one of my favorite things about this entire figure is the base. It's really amazingly detailed. They somehow use this glossy paint to make it look wet, and it really does look like wet mud. Like, it's pretty impressive. Like, it has the forest floor details. There's even, like, a spot where his boot, like, it's an imprint in it. And they got the nice plant and the rocks, so it's... He really does look like he's trekking through the jungle. So I think this is pretty, pretty good deal. Like this um, collector's edition overall costs around $120, which as far as collector's editions goes, not too bad. Like some average around the 200. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. And for what you get, I think it's worth the money. All right guys, that kind of sums up our review of the Uncharted 4, a Thief's End Special Edition Collector's Box. If you're a fan of the first three games, I really recommend getting this. It's, by the way, a random side note, this is technically called the Libertaria Edition. It's basically the Collector's Edition, but they want to be fancy about it, so. But they'll yeah, put, they'll put fancy names on Collector's Editions of things sometimes to make you think it's something else. <laughs> Who knows? Game companies, right? <laughs> yeah, you can easily pick it up on, like, GameStop.com or even in your local store, and I got this on Amazon, so it came with Prime, so two-day shipping, so it's awesome. But yeah, I definitely recommend it, and yeah, go That's out That's about it. it. Well, have a good day, guys. We hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you want to see more things like this or what you're curious to have reviews about. Okay. Bye! Bye.